हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द सीरीज फिजियो क्वेस्ट वेर वी डिस्कस अबाउट द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर अबाउट द फिजियोथेरापी प्रैक्टिस क्लिनिकल सिनारियोज एंड मैनी मोर थिंग्स दिस टाइम द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई पर्पजफुली कैप्ट अबाउट द वेगनर स्केल फॉर द अल्सर बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस अबाउट इट एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस इट विद द पॉइंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स गो टू द क्वेश्चन वॉट इट वॉन्ट्स टू से एंड वॉट कैन बी द आंसर्स सो द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट A physiotherapist examines a patient with a venous ulcer on the medial side of her lower leg. The therapist observes that the ulcer penetrates to the subcutaneous tissue partially, exposing several tendons. The most appropriate grade for the ulcer using Wegener's ulcer grade classification scale is option R grade 1, grade 2, grade 3 or grade 4. Now my dear friends to answer this question first of all yes we should know what is wegner's classification or wegner scale for the ulcer and after that we will come to the question so let me just describe to you this wegner's classification or wegner scale for the ulcers so in this five grades are given 0 to 4 grade 0 okay in this wegner scale grade 0 says that no open ulceration but possible existence of bone deformation of hyperkeratosis means you will not see any laceration any cut over the skin but there are chances that you will see hypercolored formation of the skin okay and that is what we call it as grade 0 grade 1 which says that superficial ulceration but without penetrating deep tissue so it makes sense that yes grade 1 is like okay there is a ulceration present but it is not going to penetrate any deep tissues now grade 2 grade 2 says that deeper extension into the tendons bone or joint capsule and which will be exposed okay now grade 3 presence of tendonitis osteomyelitis cellulitis along with the exposure of the tendons and other structures deeply grade 4 wet or dry gangrene of toe or dorsum of the foot grade 5 extensive gangrene of the foot indicating amputation so now my dear friends i hope you understand what the scale wants to say and why what the scale is all about so here now again let's go back to the question question the information is given that the ulcer is deep and also it is exposing the tendons and other parts of the bone which means definitely it has to be between grade 2 and grade 3 and that is a good thing because most of you have answered that question in between grade 2 and grade 3 you got confused in grade 2 grade 3 but that's not a problem we are going to solve that confusion now let's go back to the scale what does it say grade 2 says that yes there will be deep extension there will be exposure of the tendons there will be exposure of the bony capsule and everything but there will not be any osteomyelitis no infection nothing will be there whereas grade 3 says that there is a extension deep to the tissue as well as exposure to the tendons bones everything as well as there will be infection in that particular part osteomyelitis will be present but in the information given in the question there is nowhere mentioned that there is a infection seen or osteomyelitis observed nothing like that and that is why my dear friends i will choose option 2 which is grade 2 for this kind of ulcer and that will be the correct answer i really hope that you have understood what is wegener scale of ulcer classification and why this question was put and why the answer is grade 2 if you still have any confusion any doubts please let me know in the comment section